she's known for showing off her incredible figure on Instagram. And Britney Spears has once again paraded her curves as she showed off her dance moves in a new video on Wednesday. The 40-year-old pop star donned a white crop top and a pair of tiny black shorts that showed off her toned stomach and long legs. Her blonde dresses were swept up in a messy bun, which she then let down as she twirled around to Indila's song S. OS captioning the video, Britney referenced her many dancing videos so far, saying, I know. I get it. A dance to a new song. This is a new edit and I wanted to post because, well, I like it. A lot of people say that a sign of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. But she added, but I met a rabbi who once told me that repetition and consistency has always been prayer. It comes after the singer seemingly hit out at her pal Selena Gomez in a bizarre post shared to Instagram on Tuesday. Britney appeared to make reference to an acceptance speech Selena, 30, made at the 2016 American Music Awards after taking home the favorite female pop-slash-rock artist Gong. I don't wanna see your bodies on Instagram. I wanna see what's in here, says Selena, while gesturing to her heart. I'm not trying to get validation nor do I need it anymore. Britney merely quotes the first line verbatim in Tuesday's post before voicing her disdain for righteous speeches and women who shame other women. Don't you just love the nerve of women who stand firmly getting awards and speak on their beliefs about not showing their bodies on Instagram? Britney began. They say this is not something I would do yet those women are the very ones who get $4 million budget videos made about sucking and licking on homemade ice cream exclamation mark the homemade ice cream music video may be a reference to Selena's 2020 collaboration with the South Korean girl group Blackpink, titled Ice Cream. The music video was released in August 2020 and featured visuals of Selena, as well as Blackpink members Jizo, Jenny, Rose A, and Lisa, manning an ice cream truck and snacking on ice cream cones. Information regarding the music video's budget has not been shared publicly. Britney continued, These other girls have nothing but beautiful bodies. Who cares if the flaunt it? They should. So the next time I see someone with a big budget video sucking on lollipops yet giving righteous speeches shaming other women for exposing their bodies, I would like to tell those people don't be a hypocrite as you suck on your lollipop having huge budget dreams, why would you stand firmly against girls getting attention just like you and they have absolutely nothing? Britney concluded. The toxic hitmaker included an image of herself donning a red bikini top inside her Thousand Oaks home. After publishing the cryptic post to Instagram, fans of Britney began to speculate that Selena may be the subject. Any beef between the two singers would come as a shock being that Selena was one of the invited to attend Britney's wedding to actor Sam Asghari, 28, this past June. The ceremony was held at Britney's Thousand Oaks estate and featured a slew of celebrity guests, including Madonna, Drew Barrymore, and Paris Hilton. When asked about her attendance, Selena told ET that she thinks Britney was surrounded by a lot of people that love her that day. Two months after tying the knot, Britney honored the date by sharing a message to Instagram where she thanked the Disney Channel alum for wishing her happiness. Thank you to Selena for telling me all she wants is for me to be happy three times. It was a very, very, very special wedding. She wrote. The mother of two also featured a photo of Selena in the post. Though the pair do not appear to have worked together in the past, Selena did previously record a song Britney wrote called Whiplash.
The tune was supposed to be on Britney's 2008 album Circus, but didn't make the cut, so Selena was able to record it when she was performing with Selena Gomez and The Scene. It was an honor, she told MTV News. I just heard the song, I fell in love with it. They gave it to me, the producers who worked on it, and I came and sang and saw that she had co-written it, so I was very excited.